There are a couple ways you can generate topspin on your forehand, but by far the most important one is the direction that your tennis racket, your tennis racket strings are moving across the ball at contact. For example, if I swing straight through the tennis ball, this ball is not going to have any topspin, but if I swing up across the back of the ball, this ball is going to have a lot of topspin, and that's despite the fact that my strings are facing the same direction for the flat ball and the topspin ball. So again, it's the direction the strings are moving at contact that influences what kind of spin I'm going to have on my forehand. And that goes for topspin, backspin, whatever. Let's go to the FYB TV screen and watch some high-speed footage of Frank Salazar hitting a forehand to illustrate this point. Now Frank is going to swing from below the tennis ball, up across the ball, at contact. And if we go back to his contact point, you'll notice that his strings are facing the net. So again, because the strings are swinging across the back of the ball, that's why that ball is going to have topspin on it, not because his strings are just facing the net when he hits. For comparison's sake, let's go to some high speed of Oliver Ackley hitting a slice backhand. And he's going to have underspin, backspin on this ball because he's swinging down on the tennis ball at contact. And if we freeze at his contact point, you'll notice that his strings are more or less facing the net as well. So you can hit with backspin and have the strings facing the net, or you can hit with topspin and have the strings facing the net. And let's split screen Frank's forehand and Oliver's backhand to illustrate this point. Frank's swinging from below the ball, Al, uh, Oliver swinging down on the ball, but if we freeze the two shots at contact, the strings are more or less facing the net on both shots, despite the fact that these two balls are going to have the opposite spins on them. What this means for your forehand is you can vary the amount that you swing up across the ball at contact, and that will vary the amount of spin you put on the ball. For a classic forehand, where you're pretty much swinging through the ball like we've taught in the fundamental section, you'll certainly get some topspin on those balls, but you won't get as much as if you were hitting a windshield wiper forehand where you really swing up across the ball, brush up across it, and that's why you get much more spin. So the next time you go on the court, vary the amount you swing up across the back of the ball, and that will consequently change the amount of topspin you're generating.